Hey, it's Goofy Flip here. Now today I'm going to be doing my first tutorial for you guys. Um, and it's going to be on how to do a simple muzzle flash for your footage. Today I'm going to be using just a simple picture because it's quicker for me. I just went on Google Images to do it and it just shows you more how to do it with a still frame but how you can make it moving in within this still frame. So first what you want to do is you want to input your footage. I'm using a picture. You can import a picture if you really want. And you want to get that into Adobe After Effects. Then you want to go onto Google Images and type in muzzle flash and you should get a muzzle flash with a black background or no background and import it. If it's got no background then it should come in and it will just be the muzzle flash. But that doesn't matter if it's got a back, black background because what you can do is you position it roughly where you want. You go onto your muzzle flash, click control click or right click if you're on Windows, go up to blending mode, go up to screen and then instantly your black background disappears. And look at that, you've got a still muzzle flash, which looks not bad, not bad, not great, but not bad. Then what you want to do is you want to go to the frame before you want your gun to shoot. So if I want my gun to shoot here, like that, then I can just go to my muzzle flash, hit T, like that, and it should bring up opacity. You change the opacity down to zero, and then you hit this stopwatch button, which starts a keyframe. And then you go to your next frame, and you change the opacity back to 100%. And you go to the frame after that, and it goes that. And you go to the frame after that, and you change it to 0%. Now, just that quick thing, what you have if you render it, is a single shot like that. Okay? But a shot, of course, without sounds, nothing. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to get some sound. So what you want to do is you want to go to, you, well, I get my sounds off YouTube. The way I do that is I type in a video that I want, for example, a revolver shooting, an AK-47 shooting, and then I just type in vid to MP3 in Google, and you get a ton of sites which you can use, which just get grabs you the audio off those videos and then I save them away until I need them. Today I'm using a revolver shot purely because I'm only going to show you how to do one shot. I know it's a machine gun but it doesn't really matter. So what you want to do is after you've got your mp3, um, by the way in After Effects you can only hear sound in pre-render. So what you want to do is pre-render your revolver Okay, and the shot is just around there. So once you've roughly got that, just check it. Okay, I got the end of one shot, which wasn't that good. So if you just minimize that a tiny bit, and you drag that over the shot. Now if you just render that area, this takes a bit of trial and error. Okay, see, I got, I got the end of the shot again. One more. Honey bear. Maybe that. See, there you go. Now you've got a simple muzzle. now you've got a simple muzzle flash, which you can use in your footage. Footage, it looks more realistic because this is a picture, it's obviously not going to be moving, so it's obviously not going to be shooting. In your footage, remember to add a couple of things. If you shoot upwards or if you shoot a wall. Go to just search in Google for some footage without a background, which you can then use um, to make dust fall down. You want to get some footage to add smoke so it comes up from your gun. Um, if you want that, of course, if you're moving quickly and stuff, it doesn't really matter. And my golden tip is don't use your newfound knowledge to make one of those videos where basically you point a gun just 90 degrees to the camera and you just shoot because it will look rubbish, I guarantee you, you'll get a ton of dislikes, you'll get trolls coming to your thing going, what the hell, that was rubbish, because to be honest, unless you're great, it's not going to look good at all, because the whole focus is on the gun. What you want more is an action scene, moving scene, so that when it fires, it's quick, and no one can really tell the difference. Also, if you're using a pistol, it would be best if you have a CO2 pistol, because that means you'll get the kickback, but if you don't, you can animate that on, and I'll probably do a video on that soon. Anyway, this has been Goofy Flip. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and tell your friends about this video. And also, if you want, you can inbox me 
um, your footage and I can take a look at it. All right, thank you.